Okay, so in this video, we will find the market equilibrium given the following demand function and supply function. So let's visualize both functions in the xy plane, or in this case the xp plane, price of a single unit versus number of units sold and or purchased by the consumers. So the supply function is a line of positive slope passing through the origin. And the demand function, of course, is a slope with a negative line with p-intercept being 700. When x is 0, p is 700. So the equilibrium point is the point where the demand function and the supply function uh, both intersect. So we'll call this value of x, x0, and this value of p, p0. So to solve for this point of intersection, well, at this point, both functions are equal, so we can equate in both cases the values of p. So we will get that 0.3x must be equal to negative 0.2x plus 700. Let me add 0.2x on both sides. So we'll have 0.3 plus 0.2x, so 0.5x is 700. Divide both sides by 0.5. If you divide by 0.5, same as multiplying by 2, so this will give us 1,400. So, the number of units sold by the supplier and purchased by the consumers is equal to 1,400 at the equilibrium point. Now we want to find the corresponding price. Of course, unit price, so the price of a single unit, well, now that we have the value of x, we can plug it in either equation. As we have a point of intersection, the p-value is the same on both curves. So if both curves give us the same p-value, let's take the simplest one. Let's take 0.3 times x. So 0 0.3 times 1,400. And this will give you a unit price of $420. And we have the equilibrium point. So the market equilibrium is when the price of a unit is $420. And for this given price, the quantity supplied by the suppliers and the demanded by the consumers is the same, 1,400 units for a unit price of $420. And that's it.